We just went through the concept of tangential velocity. The symbol for tangential velocity is V sub t. Please be aware that tangential velocity means that this is the velocity tangent to the circle when you are moving in a circle. So it is in the direction of travel and tangent to the circle. The velocity tangential is equal to r times omega. That is a boxed equation. Tangential velocity equals r times omega. So you can see that the larger the radius, the larger the tangential velocity. Uh, again, you must use radians for this equation. And this is true for just about, actually, for every equation we're using today, we uh, introduced that you need to use radians. Now, to go through an example, let's do an example involving picking out a golf club. Okay, let's say we can spin our golf club at a constant angular velocity of 45 uh, radians per second. We have two golf clubs to pick from. The radius of one of the golf clubs is 0 0.93 meters. The radius of the other one is 1.07 meters. So this is the length of each club. Assuming we could spin them at the same angular velocity, we can figure out the tangential velocity for each of these clubs. Now, we have already went through chapter six and we showed that the faster the club head is moving, the farther the golf ball is going to go because the change in momentum of the golf ball will be great. So, the faster the club head speed, the farther the ball is going to go. So this is gonna be the tangential velocity for the first one is gonna be equal to the radius for the first one times the angular velocity or 0 0.93 multiplied by the angular velocity, which is 45. Tangential velocity. Forty-one point eight five. Dimensions on that, please. Um, Manny, what are the dimensions on the radius? Um, meters. Multiplied by the dimensions on the angular velocity. Uh, radians. Uh, radians over seconds. It'd be forty-two meter radians per second. Again, radians is just a placeholder. It is dimensionless. So radians cancels out, and it just ends up being meters per second. Remember, this is a linear velocity when traveling in a circle. So clearly, it's going to be in a linear dimension, which is going to be meters per second. We can figure out this tangential velocity for the second one, which is going to be the radius for the second one times the angular velocity, or 1.07 multiplied by 45, the tangential velocity for the second. 48.15 or with sig figs, 48 meters per second. In other words, the longer the length of the club, the faster the club head is going to go, and therefore the farther the ball is going to go. In general, you want to be able to get the ball to go farther, especially with the driver. Therefore, the driver of your golf club should be, the golf club driver, the length of your driver should be as long as possible so that you get the longest, the fastest club head speed possible so that the ball will go the farthest. True? True according to everything we've put on the board so far. Agree? Because it's true. The faster the club head goes, the farther the ball will go, and clearly the longer the length of the club, the farther the ball is going to go. However, you give up something. What is it that you give up when you have a longer length of club? Time. Actually, that's not quite correct. We made the assumption that the angular speed is going to be the same regardless of the length of the club, which isn't quite correct, but it's very, very close. Aaron. You lose accuracy. You lose accuracy. Why? Because you have less control. You have less control. Notice the longer the length of club, Going back to the equation, s equals r times theta. It's definitely true that you have a longer or faster tangential velocity, but it also means that the arc length is going to be larger for small 
thetas. So when you grip that golf club and you are adjusting where the club head is, that's done by a change in the theta right here. Well, the longer the length of club, the more, the larger the arc length for a small theta. So when you have the longer the golf club, the actual less control you have over the club head. So while it is true that the longer the length of the club, the farther the ball will go, you also lose accuracy the longer the length of the club. So it's a trade-off. You have to decide how much accuracy you want versus distance.